Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see the CMOS circuit and layout for NOR gate. NOR gate will be having the expression y is equal to a plus b whole bar. Here a and b are the inputs. Now we need to write the CMOS NOR gate structure. So here we have a plus b whole bar. So the circuit will be in the pull down, we need to have a N transistor with gate input A and one more N transistor with the gate input B and we need to connect these two parallelly so that it gives a A plus B combination and then in the pull up we need to have P transistors with same input A with P mass transistor it should be in the series with input B transistor and these two are in series now. We need to connect these two and from here we need to take the output y. This will be giving a plus b whole bar when we are going to provide VDD over here and we are going to connect this to ground. Now for this circuit we need to write the layout. Let us see how to write the layout. Before that for any transistor we need to represent it in a layout means we need to have two layers like this one layer is polysilicon layer we are going to represent like this and if it is a p transistor the representation of p diffusion will be like this if it is a n transistor this is n diffusion crossover will be again polysilicon this polysilicon representation will be for gate and this n diffusion for source as well as drain. Similarly in PMOS transistor this is P diffusion vertically it represents source or drain and horizontally polysilicon representing gate. So here let me write the layout for this. Before going for the layout we need to mark the terminals here. Source, drain and gate we need to mark. The rule is that from where we are going to take the output that should be drain means this is drain of this transistor this is drain of this transistor this is drain 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 are connected and we are going to take the output and one more thing is that for the source we are going to connect the vdd that is voltage source similarly the source of these two are connected and connecting to zero volt that is ground and the remaining terminals you can write if this is source this will be drain of this transistor with input a if this side is drain, this should be source. This is how we can mark the terminals and then we can go for layout. First let me write this VDD and ground lines. VDD and ground should be a metal. So let me take a horizontal metal representation. So metal will be represented like this with a straight line. So this is indicating a line which is providing VDD. It should be at the top. At the bottom we need to have a similar kind of metal line to represent ground. Means in any circuit or IC if you take these two are the power lines running at the top as well as at the bottom such as VDD and ground. In between here we need to place these four transistors. Okay. So first let me take this transistor here vertically I am going to take a P diffusion. So the P diffusion will be represented like this. One more transistor we have here. This is again a P diffusion. So we need to have horizontal polysilicon. This is polysilicon. This represents gate. Similarly, this is polysilicon for the input B. So this becomes two pull-up transistors with input A and input B. And now this is source and this is drain. This is source, this is drain. Now we need to have the connection between VDD and source. This drain to source we need to connect and this drain to output we need to connect. First let me connect these two, drain and source. This drain end is also a P diffusion. This source end is also a P diffusion. Anyhow, these two are in contact. 
so we can have a continuous line over here continuously we can have a p diffusion common between those two but here this is metal this is p diffusion i need to extend this diffusion and it is connected to metal now we need to have a contact over here if you learn the design rules the size of this metal line size of this p diffusion and how should be the size of this contact cut and i'll come to know so let me extend this metal throughout the contact let me extend this p diffusion throughout the contact in between we need to have we need to show a contact cut this is the connection between the source of this transistor and vdd similarly pull down we need to have two transistors and drain should be connected to this drain and source should be connected to ground let me have vertical n diffusion for n diffusion the similar kind of p diffusion representation with very close lines similarly horizontally i am going to take polysilicon like this and one more transistor i am going to place here this is again p diffusion with horizontally polysilicon here this is transistor with input a this is with input b and now this should be connected to ground this also should be connected to ground since these two are source of n transistors here also we need to have a contact like this this contact should be having metal as well as n diffusion in between we need to show the contact cut similarly here also so if you look at the layout design rules it says if you see the lambda based design rules the n diffusion this is the n diffusion it should be minimum of 2 lambda and metal if it is a metal it should be of 3 lambda and if you write a contact between the metal as well as the polysilicon or any diffusion it should be 4 lambda cross 4 lambda and in between you are going to show the contact cut this should be 2 lambda cross 2 lambda this is what the rule says so here for the representation just you make it as a big contact in between the these two layers now comes drain to drain connection between these three transistors how to connect drain to drain since this is a p diffusion and these two are n diffusions we need to connect these two using metal only okay so first let me connect these two since these two are n diffusions i am just extending the n diffusion to make it as common but this is p diffusion this is n diffusion so we are not supposed to connect uh, just like that we need to have a metal in between so now this is metal okay now this metal get contacted with the p diffusion here metal contacted with n diffusion so we need to have two contacts over here p diffusion and metal and a cut in between metal as well as n diffusion and showing a contact cut in between and extend this metal further it should be not so thin i am writing thin here so this is our y now this makes one p transistor this makes another p transistor these two makes n transistors and this is our y providing a plus b hole bar and remember in the layout no need to mention vdd a plus b hole bar a b source drain and all you need to just write the layout diagram and you can here indicate a demarcation line and the rule says the inputs and the outputs are uh, should be above this demarcation line but here we will be having this a and b below this is the wrong approach actually for making it simpler we can write like this otherwise what we can do we can take this as vdd this as ground we need to have a b with polysilicon like this 
we need to have a b polysilicons like this and we need to carefully place the transistors wherever which they are going to suit this is other approach this is much complex compared to this in your exams they may ask to write the layout for y is equal to a plus b whole bar means nor gate or they may ask y is equal to a into b whole bar that is nand gate in such cases you can go with this approach it is easy this is the very simplest way to write the layout diagram for cmos nor gate thank you